Hello everyone, my name is Efosa Igudaro. I'm going to be showing you how to purchase and sell GTF token from the Waves Exchange wallet. And this is the web version. So here you are in your wallet. You click on the menu where you have the three lines and it's going to show you different options. So let's assume that you already have USDN tokens. So to get USDN tokens, you first have to buy, you can buy directly over here, or if, it's, if, if this is too um, complex for you, you can go to First Kodi app. We have the tutorial on the GTF announcement page, and then you can use the First Kodi app to buy Bitcoin and send that Bitcoin to your Bitcoin address, which is over here. So this is your wallet, right? You click on the down arrow, it shows your deposit address. So just leave it the way it is because it's coming from an external source. So you just click on copy. All right. And it's copied. And that's what you paste on your first Kodi app. And then when your Bitcoin arrive here, you can sell for USDN. But first of all, you have to know how to buy on and sell on Wave Exchange. So we go on the menu again and you see the option for trading over here. So you click on trading and it's taking us to the George Tufoni USDN, which is crypto dollar um, trading page. All right. And this is the market. So you see you have charts, trade, my orders and history. So you click on history just to see the order book and you're looking at, you're looking at the order book. All right. You want to see what has been going on in the market between George Tufoni and USD. You can click on trade history and you see People have been buying and selling. So you go back to order book. Now, this is the order book, right? Now, the order book is just to phony against dollar. So if you go on the on the left hand side where you see price USDN, it's, it's telling you the price in dollars. All right. Now, the red numbers or the red price represent selling price. So these are people who already have just two funny tokens and they are selling all right the, the blue numbers represent usdn they are those people who already have the, the dollar the usdn that they bought with the bitcoin on the US exchange and or yeah and then they are asking so they are asking to buy all right so they are they are buying so the blue are buying the red are selling all right so just think of it like red selling, deducting from what you have because you're selling it away. Buy, you're adding to what you have because you're buying. All right. From zero to one, selling from two to one because you're selling. All right. Now, look at the, the first selling price you see here is 0 0.1274. That is 12 cents, 12.74 cents. All right. Because 0 0.12 is 12, 12 cents. So 0 0.1274 is 12.74 cents. Now this is the highest price, sorry, the, the immediate selling price of GTF and, and it's actually the price of GTF on the exchange right now. All right. So that's the selling price. So if you want to buy at that price, I will show you what to do. Now let's see now the buying price, people that want to buy, the best buying price right now is 11 cents, 0 0.11. All right, so between 12.74 cents and 11 cents, you have a space. All right, so now, now let's say you want to buy at the selling price, you know, like you don't want to, to haggle the price, you don't want to price it like Nigerians would say, price it. So let's say, like somebody says, okay, how much, how much do you sell your mangoes? I sell it at $10. All right, so that's what it is here 12.74 cents. Is the asking price the immediate asking price all right and you cannot jump you can see the higher sale prices the first the 2381 gtf have to be sold before you can buy the 1201 at 13.8 cents all right so you have to move from one ladder from one level to the other all right so let's click on trade you see down you have charts trade my orders and history so let's click on trade so you're going to see it um, if your internet is not fast, 
you're going to see it you know buffering so when it's buffering just click back click on click on the menu and then click on the black and then just go back you see that and then you have your 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 page already so it says buy it says sell i have 12 dollars 12.7 dollars in my wallet all right so let's say i want to buy so i know the price was 12.74 cents right so if i want to buy at that price i just edit it and say i'm buying yes i'm buying at what they're asking for so i'm going to put 0 0.1274 all right and then if i want to use all the 12 dollars i have to buy what as much as you can buy and just click on that money you see and it calculates how much i will buy that means i'll get 99.92 gtf tokens all right now let's erase it erase the erase this this side so let's just say i don't want to spend all my money and let's say i want to buy a specific amount of joshu funding tokens let's say i just want to buy five so i put five there it's going to tell me the price automatically i spend 0 0.637 dollars i will get my five tokens so let's click on buy the order is created all right and because it's actually at this selling price i should see my my order so, so i should see if i go to my orders so this is open orders okay so let's see when it's done okay so let's just see my order history you can see it 100 percent. that means it has been sold so amount five all right that's the order history so let's go back to the click on history to go back to the order book so you can see it moved from 2381 to 2376 i've bought five gtf all right so my gtf holdings will increase by five so that is how to buy how did you do it again you click on trade you see it buffering click on the menu then go back all right then instead of sell it was on buy i typed in um the price i wanted that's the selling price immediate selling price and i typed in five tokens and it told me the amount and i bought all right now let's let's assume that you don't want to buy 12.74 cents all right because you there's 11 cents asking price so you want to buy at 11.5 cents you want to buy at you want to place an order for 11.5 cents so that means you have to wait so if you're placing for and also if you're placing an order for let's say 12.64 cents you have to wait for somebody so for a seller to accept your order and fill it so let's assume that i want to put an order for 12.64 cents i don't want to buy at 12.74 cents which will get my order filled immediately i want to buy for i've priced it to 12.64 12 cents is what i'm willing to pay so again i go to trade click on it go back to escape the buffering and it's still on buy right so I put in the price i put in 0 0.1264 that's the price i'm willing to pay for it and, and i click on buy so i i did so i did the zero gtf to five because i want to buy five it tells me i pay 0 0.63 i click on buy so the order is created now let's go back to history so you can see the order book now you can see the immediate buy price now is mine. It's at 0 point, it's 12.64. You can see, so I've closed the gap between the buy and the sell price. So you don't have to buy, you, so if you don't want to buy at the um, at the asking price, you can put your own price, which, which we just did. All right? But that means I have to wait for somebody to sell to me. But if I want to buy immediately, I have to buy at the asking immediate asking price. All right? So that is how to buy. And let's go back now what 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 if you want to cancel your order you just go to my orders at the bottom and you go to my open orders these are orders that are still open all right and you can see my 12.64 i just click on x and my order is cancelled all right so let's go back to the other book you see you don't see my 12.64 cents there it's back to 11 cents so that's how to buy let's go to how to sell so let's say this is 12.74 cents right it's immediate selling price let's say i want to sell at that same price 
So I want to add my own order to sell tokens at that same price. So let's go on trade. Remember the buffering, just click on the menu and go back. And you click on sell, make sure the, the, under, the underscore is at sell. And I'm going, I want to sell at the same immediate price so that my orders are waiting alongside other people. 12.74 cents I want to sell. And I want to sell, let's say 10 GTF tokens because I have a lot of them, all right? If you tell me when I sell 10 GTF tokens, I'm going to make, I'm going to get $1.274. So I click on sell. Order is created. I go back to history and you can see from 12, from 2,376, it increased to 2,386 because my orders have been added to the 12.74 price. All right. So let's say I want to sell again, but I don't want to sell at 12.74. I want to I want to be earlier. I want to be I want, I want to bring my my price down. So somebody buys my own tokens first. Like I said, you can't jump. So you can you can only buy the, the the other price in front of you. So let's say I want to sell at the lower price than what people are selling. I go back to trade. All right. Click on the menu to remove the buffering, and make sure the underscore is at sell. And this I want to sell at 12.73 instead of 12.74. So I'm typing 0 0.1273. All right. And let's say I'm selling 20, 20 GTF tokens. So I'm going to get $2.546. I click on sell. All right. And you can see the price is 0 0.003 waves. So to buy or sell, I have to have at least 0 0.003 waves in my wallet because i'm going to pay for the transaction fee to buy or sell now let's go back to history so you can see my price the immediate selling price is now 12.73 cents and it's my 20 gtf that somebody will buy now is now at the front of the order book for selling you see that so in this video i've taught you how to buy at the price um how to so yeah okay so i've taught you how to buy at the selling price or put your own buy order i've taught you how to sell now and either add your order to the sale at, at the immediate sale price of 12.74 or bring the price lower by putting your own lower price right or you can even sell to those people who are buying who are asking at 11 cents so there are two ways to buy and there are three ways to sell. All right. So let's go back to trade. I want to. I want to. I want to sell to this price. I want to sell to this guy at eleven cents. All right. So go back to trade. Click on the menu. Remove the buffering. Put it at sell. So I have to type in what exactly what is there. Zero point zero point one one. All right. Let me just check it again. History, yeah, 0 0.11 is the price, and he has eight. He's asking to buy eight. So let's say I want to sell four to him. Just for example, I want to sell four to him. So I go to trade. All right, put it on sell. I want to. So you have to type it again. 0 0.11, and and I want to sell four. All right, tells me what I'm going to get for the four cents. I sell it. Order is created, all right. Of course, I know the order is going to be filled immediately because I've put it at the at the asking price. So you can see it moved from eight to four, from eight point nine four to four point nine four, all right. So, so you see that. So the price have come down. So now let's say I want to buy all these twenty to now. So now we've taught you how to buy, how to sell. So I want to go back and buy all the twenty. That I put before, let's say I'm somebody and I see or oh, somebody else. Um, so let's just assume you don't know I'm the one that put the 20, right? So I want to buy the order in front of me. I'm just repeating how to how to buy now. So I go back to the menu, go back there, click it's already on buy. I know it's at 0 0.1273. So I'm gonna write it again. 0 0.1273. All right, how many? 20. All right, and I want to buy it. 
all right so let's go back to the history you can see it's out of there you're back to the 12.74 all right and let's see so you can see how to so that's how to buy or sell so when you just practice it you get it immediately all right so i hope i've been able to teach you how to buy or sell on the web exchange platform the next video is going to show you how to buy or sell on the mobile application all right thank you for watching